nobody stop you na 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 don't let nobody change you na 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 live your life and cast the highest vibration live your life and cast the high 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 baby live your life and cast the highest vibration good morning people Hey guys, good morning from Ireland. How are you guys doing? How was your night? My night was beautiful. Should I say that? <laughs> I don't know. I think I was worried all the night. Yes, I was. It wasn't that nice. I woke up around half one or yeah, half one, and I was just like, oh my god, what's the next thing, guys? I, I am confused. I need help. I need help. I cannot handle this. I don't know how to handle this. I'm just looking up to God for him to help me i told you guys that we're losing our home we have to get out of this house on the 20th of uh, february and today is the night of february guys we don't know where we are going to somebody was like be parking i said pack what to where you know i just need god's intervention like on the 20th of february they said they're coming to move us out of the house I wasn't the one at fault. I never owned my rent. My landlord was collecting and he wasn't paying his mortgage, you know. When you say you have a house abroad, you've not finished paying the, the responsibility that you've not finished paying your mortgage. Okay, they give it to you that you keep paying. They sell the house to you and you keep paying them monthly, you get it. So he didn't pay his mortgage. So the house, this house has been repossessed, you know. So guys, I am confused. I need help. I need God's intervention for us not to become homeless okay so all the night i was just going around looking for uh storage to rent there is something that um is it a system that what will i call it now where you can rent storage put all your things there then they'll be charging you per day so i'm thinking maybe i've i've made some moves and i pray it's going to materialize <clears throat> It's going to materialize successfully in Jesus' name. Like I've made some move that they should let us be here for like two months, maybe by April ending. But hopefully the Lord will take control of that. They will say yes. They will say okay. But in the like on the alternative, so I've gone to I was searching up online for storage around my town. I found two, so I contacted them. So that storage you put all your things there, but you can't sleep there. You put your things there. In Cape, where you keep paying them every day, so then maybe we're going to move into hotel myself and my children. So when? How much are we going to pay? How much is it going to cost us? You know how expensive hotels are. So guys, this is my situation. I just need divine intervention. So now I'm on my way for to my training. I did one day training yesterday. Then the second day is today. Throughout this week, I'm in training. Even next week, I'm in training. So. Yeah, so I'm working on Saturday actually, but next week I'll continue for this training. So guys, I'm going downstairs to have my breakfast. I just said I should come and tell you guys my predicament to like hold forth in prayer for me. That's it. <coughs> Let's go downstairs. Obodo in Yebo house must off lights. As I come out, you go off lights. <laughs> hey. As you they come out, you they off lights. Good morning, guys. Good morning from Ireland. <laughs> hey, guys. I do not look like my problem, you know. I'm not looking like my problem. I refuse to look like my problem. <laughs> guys, eh, this situation that I'm in, I don't know. I don't know. I made a video that I, that we have a problem with our accommodation my landlord did not pay his mortgage meanwhile i paid i've never never uh, owed my debt uh, my rent i've always been prompt with my rent rent but he was collecting money he wasn't paying his mortgage so uh they repossessed the house from him so they so they sent us a letter that we have to evacuate the house like evacuate the ha vacate the house on the 20th of of um they said one month. Meanwhile, we got the letter on the 30th. So it's not even up to one month. So when we got the letter, it was 20 days. So, but we have to live by the rule. Like the rule of the courts is to, for us to move out on the 20th of um, February. So today is um, 15th. Five days to go, guys. 
so i have my loads packed i've rented a storage so we'll be moving in next week tuesday so there we don't know where we're gonna sleep <laughs> So we don't know guys just keep praying for us that's i don't like i'm here now i'm ready down from i have two days training three days training actually so i'm going for my training i went yesterday today's the second day so i just said you know what don't look like your problem just dress yourself up at least it is not unto death <laughs> you know um two days ago i couldn't sleep like i've been having sleepless nights i'm like god what is this this is not my problem i didn't cause this problem why am i going through this thing but what can i do it is what it is. We have to work into this house on Tuesday. So thank God at least I even got a place to rent. All this moving and everything is gonna cost me six hundred euros. What I you know, unexpected expenses. But what can I do, guys? What can I do? I'm even actually thankful that I got a storage. If there was no storage, what am where am I gonna move my things? Who would like her to help me put some of my things in their homes? So we're looking for um at hotel prices. For one week, now it's going to cost me. I'm, I'm the four of us. Sandra is in Dublin, but anyways, three of us. We're going to pay two, one thousand, maybe one thousand two hundred for one week in the hotel. That's crazy. Anyways, guys, let me show you. Let me show you guys my property. Look at my loads there. That is what I've been doing. I've been, I've been awake since four a.m. packing. So I'm done my room. So, and I have some items underneath my bed. You know, now Africans, you know how we pack loads. <laughs> so, I have some things under my bed. I have some up there that I need to move down. And those are the, the things I have left in my room. Everything is packed. So, then I have my mattress. This is my, I bought my mom mattress. It's on my bed. So, the other one on the wall is for my landlord. So, now that I'm moving, I have to take mine because mine is orthopedic uh, mattress. So, I'm taking my mattress and I'll put it on there for him. My TV. Let me just show you things, Sha. So that's my landlord's mattress there. I'm going to replace it back, put it back on his bed because the bed belongs to, to him. So this is um, my mattress is here. I'm going to move my mattress when I'm going. This is my own orthopedic mattress. So look at the room everywhere. It's upside down with pad. We've packed all our things. So I need to move those things. Um, these things are going, items are going into the bin. These are bin. That's it, so guys. That's my story. I'm going downstairs to have my breaky. Then I'm going to I'm going to carry my document bag with me everywhere that we do. Whenever we are going, uh oh, dark, dark, dark. Whenever we are going, go with my document bags, guys. I'm going for training. See you later in the day. Nobody is even answering me, student. <clears throat> ah, only one. I tell you, guys, please empty the bins. That's one part of the shoes yesterday. So, we will do the kitchen today. We need to, you need to support us. And you're, you're going to work. Do whatever you can do. All we have to do is um, the kitchen. Um, Precious sister mom says she will be coming in to help me, to help me move some things. So I'm going. The things under the stairs. I will need somebody to go under the stairs to pack them. Because I can't bend down. My knees are aching. What am I going to eat now? I dare you to fix me. I'm crossing the line again. Falling on my knees. No stranger to pay. guys who oh, i'm at um, my training ground but training is not starting until half nine so i'm just like relaxing in the car that is it what's the plan for today what are you doing today what are you doing today guys today is tuesday 
I don't want to be quoting the dates because I'm so late to to upload videos these days. So that's why. But today is Tuesday, the, the 15th. Yeah, 15th of February. Hopefully, I'll be able to I will load this. I will upload this video quickly. I'm not even frequent to watch videos on YouTube. I love vlogs. I don't have that time anymore. Even this issue of house, eh, of this homelessness, it has taken away my brain and my, my in fact, taken over every of my reasoning. Anyway, guys, make a live on We will talk later. Have a nice day. Bye. Hey, guys. I'm tired. How are you guys doing how was your day my day wasn't bad i went for training you guys saw me at the training uh, training ground yeah i went for training and i came back home around i think 3 30 half three anyway so guys updates you know i told you guys in the morning when i was going i showed you all the things that i, I we have packed so i was coming home to start packing and the kitchen start packing the items in the kitchen but when i when we had breakouts at the, at the training around 11 or maybe half 10 i saw this call then i i picked it up and they were like oh yeah we just want to tell you that you guys can stay in that house now until your house because there's a, there's going to be a new house for for us like we're planning to is it planning like we are going to move to a new house that one is coming i'm going to update you guys about that later so they just said okay we can stay in the in this house where we are now because normally we have four days to get out of here four or five days left today is uh 15 16 17 18 19 20 so we have five days to get out of this house so that's why i showed you guys in the morning that we've packed we've packed uh, everything We've packed more, everything in my room. I've packed them. I've set those things on, on the wardrobe in my room and some other items underneath my bed. So I was coming to the kitchen. Somebody was supposed to come today to come help me to pack the kitchen underneath the stairs, our storage. But thank God they said we can stay in the house here till our new home will be ready. So I'm so happy. At least I have peace of mind. So I had to call the storage guy that um I, I had to cancel. Then I called the guy that's supposed to come and lift the items for us to come and help us to move the items like a van i called him like now i had to cancel again i thank god because i was like would they ask me to pay for cancellation or something like to pay because they already booked the day for me so i believe that if they had somebody called if somebody called them that he wanted he or she wanted um a storage or the van they would tell they would have told the person no no there is somebody using it or something so i know that that's a bad market for them anyways so but they said that you do i don't need to pay anything so that's okay so i'm so happy that's just the update guys so yeah so in two weeks pro hopefully in two weeks our house will be ready our new home will be ready then we'll move in i'm just seriously looking forward to that so that's the update guys i'm so happy guys i'm so happy because i saved myself 600 euros because the storage is going to take 150 a month and the guy said the minimum rental is two months even though i was going to in, um need it for one month he said i had to pay for two months so i was going to forfeit just one month like paying for two months but i'm going to use it for one month because my new home will be ready by then so 300 for that then the guy that's going to move the um use his van to move the things our properties to the storage said he would charge us he charged us 300 euros so that's 600 so the moving of the movie would have cost me 600 euros i just saved 600 guys you don't know how happy i am i'm so happy so happy guys 600 you know unexpected uh, expenses but thank god that the lord changed it for me i've been praying like god please help me please help me and i'm so happy that the lord did it anyways that's the update guys so um, but I'm, I'm not going to unpack everything that I packed. I'm going to leave it there because we're moving in two weeks by the grace of God to our new home. So, guys, anyway, that's it though. Have a blessed evening. Enjoy your evening. I'll leave you now. I'm watching vlogs. It's been a while. But, uh, guys, I have an exam tomorrow. The training, uh, ha, Jesus is Lord. So intense. 
so i'm gonna do my exams tomorrow we did two days um training then exam tomorrow this way. anyways guys let me leave you bye